Hi guys and welcome back to part two of our basically our switch security configuration challenge. So we left off just a moment ago in part one whereby we'd configured or created a secure trunk. We had secured the unused switch ports on, on switch one and we were now going to move on to implementing port security. Just before I go any further I just want to double check that we didn't need to do this also on switch two. But it looks at things, just the challenge is asking us to just do it on switch one, which is perfect. So what I'm now gonna do guys is I'm gonna move on to step three, which is implementing our port security. So let's now look at this step, steps. So it's asking us activate port security on all the active access ports on switch, switch one, okay. We wanna configure the active ports to allow a maximum of four MAC addresses to be learned on the ports. And then for ports fast zero slash one on switch one, statically configure the MAC address of the PC using port security. So we'll need to look up the static MAC address of that PC, and we'll need to statically configure that. And then we'll need to configure each active access port so that it automatically adds the MAC addresses learned on the port to the running config. Okay, so that's the sticky configuration. And then finally, configure the port security violation mode to drop packets from MAC addresses that exceed the maximum. Generate a syslog entry, but not to disable the ports. So this is actually what's known as restrict mode within port security. So we're gonna see this now in just a moment. So guys, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive into switch one, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to start to work my way through from A, all through these steps. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, right, I need to activate port security on the access ports. So let's look at our access ports. Let's see what access ports we have. So I'm going to go show VLAN. So what I can see, the access ports here, I've got, by the looks of things, four access ports. I've got fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. I've got fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, 10, and 24. So they're going to be the ports that we're going to need to enable for our port security. So let's start off with fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So let's let's go with that port first, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go conf t interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, and this is where we'll need to go. Okay, so we're going to need to say, first and foremost, this is an access port. So again, I'm just going to make sure that it's, it indeed is an access port. Okay, so that's always good practice to ensure that it's been set as an access port and not as a trunk. So again, we don't have any malicious actors coming on, connecting to port one and trying to dynamically create a trunking port. The next thing I'm gonna do is enable port security. So I'm gonna go switch port, port security, and I'm gonna enable port security. The next thing I'm gonna to need to do, guys, is I'm gonna to need to say, okay, for this port fast Ethernet zero slash one, I'm gonna to need to statically configure the MAC address of the PC connected to it. So I can see the MAC address or the PC connected to it is this PC here. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna go over to this PC and I'm gonna just move my, the, to, to just inside here. I'm gonna look at the command prompt and what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna do an IP config forward slash all. And what this is gonna tell me is it's gonna show me the MAC address of this particular computer. So here I can see guys, the MAC address of this PC, PC1 connected to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 is this MAC address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this onto my clipboard and what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use that in just a moment to configure, to help me configure this switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to statically basically confirm this MAC address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my command switch port, port security, and then what I'm going to say is MAC address. So MAC address and then I'm going to pop in or paste in that address and I'm going to press enter and what that's going to do is it's going to statically define that MAC address to allow that MAC address into this switch okay the next thing I need to do guys and there's a few other aspects to this I need to allow activate ports to allow a maximum of four MAC addresses so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to say switch port and I'm going to say um, I'm going to need to say port security and I'm going to say maximum 
four addresses. So this is all I'm going to allow in. So maybe I'll only allow in, for example, this PC. Maybe if they have, for example, a voice over IP phone, maybe they have some sort of um, laptop that they configure. But there's only going to be and one other device. So there's only going to be a maximum of four devices that are going to be allowed onto this. The final thing that I need to do is I need to basically activate the port security to drop packets from MAC addresses that exceed this. So let's say a user comes along with a fifth or a sixth device. What should happen is they should get dropped. In order to do that, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to change the default security um, configuration violation mode of shutdown to this restrict mode. So what I'm going to say is switch port violation so switch port, port security, violation, and I'm going to say restrict. Okay, and that's going to allow that. And there we go, guys. So now I've configured. So let's just double back that we've, we've done all these. We've activated port security using switch port, port security. We've made sure that they're an access port by switch port mode access. Um, this is on all on fast Ethernet 01 for the time being. We've configured the maximum four MAC addresses. We've statically configured this particular MAC address of the PC connected to it. And then what we've done is we've basically, oh, we haven't done this, guys. We want to statically basically add MAC addresses into the running configuration file. The last command there is I'm going to go switch port, port security, and let's just use the question mark here to help me. I'm going to say MAC address, and then what I'm going to say is the last thing is sticky. So I'm going to say sticky here. And this is going to basically add in or configure dynamic secure addresses as they come into the, to the port. So once I've done that, guys, I've now configured all of the port security for port number fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Now, what I need to do now is I need to, know, to, to do this on other ports as well. So again, if I go back, exit, let's do show, um, show VLAN again to see our other access ports. So I know fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 has got to be done a similar way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's go conf t interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 2. And then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to say those similar commands. So the, the similar commands are going to be switch port mode access. I'm going to need to go switch port port security. Then I'm going to need to say switch port, port security, and I'm going to say maximum four. And then I'm going to need to say, um, it does we need, do we need to have this, the, the violation mode uh, that exceed configure port? I think we're going to need to do it on each and every port here, guys. So I'm going to go switch port. I'm going to say port security, violation, restrict. And then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to, we only need to do the static configuration there on basically fast Ethernet 01, so that looks good. Um, and configure each active access port to automatically. So what I'm gonna to need to do is put that sticky mode in. So port security, MAC address, sticky. And I think I'm good to go there. So exit, I'm now gonna go into interface. Let's go back and see which next v uh, port is gonna be needing to do. So again, I've done two. Now I need to do 10 and 24. So let's do them very, very quickly. Conf T, interface, fast Ethernet, zero slash 10 and I'm going to go switch port mode access I'm going to go switch port port security I'm going to go switch port uh, port security and um, violation restrict I'm going to go switch port port security and um, MAC address sticky and have I got everything and I need to go switch port port security and um, Maximum of four, wasn't it? Maximum, so MAC addresses. Oh, hold on, port security. Maximum, sorry, and four. And then finally, guys, I'm gonna go the last port, which I think is fast Ethernet zero slash 24. Switch port mode access. Switch port port security. I'm gonna go switch port port security. Violation restrict. I'm gonna go switch port port security, um, maximum four, and I'm gonna go switch port, port security, um, MAC addresses, sticky. 
And again, what I what I might be a good idea here, guys, is let's have a look at the run now. Show run to just go through each one of those to see if I got. So again, I've got access, port security, three, four, five, and six with that last one. So okay, so let's see if I've got okay, so let's see I've got one, two, three, four, five. Do I have how many did I have in this one, guys? One, two, three, four. Five, six, so five. So that looks about right. Three, four, five. That looks good. What other access ports did I have? Um, wasn't it ten? Let's go down here. So I should have five commands. Oh, it looks like I'm my short here. One, two, three, four, five. No, looks good. And then let's go down to slash twenty-four as well, guys. That's just to make sure. Double check that I've got all of these commands. So there, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. That looks good, guys. Okay, so at this point, guys, for part two, it looks like I've done all of my implementing of my port security. Please join me again for part three, where we're gonna continue this story. Okay, thanks, guys.